hello everyone in this video i am going to explain about impulse momentum principle before proceeding to this i would like to cover few important definitions first definition is weight density weight density is nothing but weight per unit volume if we simplify this you get weight is equal to weight density into volume if you divide it by seconds on both side you get the weight of fluid flowing per unit time so you get the w dot is equal to gamma into a into v second definition is the mass density mass density is equal to mass per unit volume if you further simplify this you get the mass is equal to mass density into volume in similar way if you divide it by time you get the mass of fluid flowing per second is equal to rho into area into velocity in fluid mechanics the analysis of motion is performed in the same way as in a solid mechanics by use of newton's laws of motion the momentum equation is a statement of newton's second law and relates the sum of the forces acting on an element of a fluid to its acceleration or rate of change of momentum and the statement of newton's second law is the rate of change of momentum of a body is equal to the resultant force acting on the body and takes place in the direction of the force the capacity of moving body to impart motion to other bodies is called as momentum the momentum of a moving body is given by the product of mass and velocity of the moving body so the momentum is equal to product of mass into velocity the unit for this is kg into meter per second let us see impulsive force and impulse of force a force acting over a short interval of time on a body is called as the impulsive force for that example is suppose if you kick on a football this is the example of impulsive force impulse of a force is a vector quantity given by the product of magnitude of force and its time of action so the applied force is equal to denoted by capital f is equal to d by dt into the product of mass into velocity that is m into v on differentiating this equation we get f is equal to m into dv by dt plus v into dm by dt by considering the solid mechanics mass of a body remains constant that is dm by dt is equal to 0 by substituting dm by dt is equal to 0 in this equation we get f is equal to m into dv by dt dv by dt is nothing but the acceleration so we get f is equal to mass into acceleration that is f is equal to m into a this is the newton's second law if you further simplify this equation we get f into dt is equal to d in bracket m into v that is impulse is equal to change in a momentum or this is called as the impulse force or f is equal to m into v2 minus v1 divided by t that is time if you simplify this we get ft is equal to mv2 minus mv1 that is the impulse force is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum impulse of a force is given by the change in a momentum caused by the force on the body impulse momentum principle states that the impulse exerted on any body is equal to the resulting change in a momentum of the body it is mathematically represented by as we shown earlier f is equal to m by t in bracket v2 minus v1 m by t is the mass flow rate which is denoted by m dot so f is equal to m dot v2 minus v1 so f is equal to what so f is equal to m dot into final velocity minus m dot into initial velocity if you further simplify this we get f is equal to rho into q in bracket v2 minus v1 q is the flow rate 
if you if you further simplify by substituting the value of flow rate q is equal to av we get f is equal to rho av in bracket v2 minus v1 v2 is the final velocity of fluid along the direction and v1 is the initial velocity of fluid along the direction so if you further simplify this in x and y direction we get f of x is equal to m in bracket v2 x minus v1 x and in y direction we get f y is equal to m dot in bracket v2 y minus v1 y this equation represents the force exerted by body on the fluid therefore the force exerted by the fluid on the body will be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction by using third law of motion we will simplify this hence the force exerted by the fluid on the body is f is equal to minus that is negative sign in bracket rho q in bracket v2 minus v1 if you simplify this we get f is equal to rho q in bracket v1 minus v2 let us conclude the topic for impulse momentum principle finally we get force exerted by body is equal to rate of change of momentum in direction of force so f is equal to initial momentum minus final momentum divided by time initial momentum is mass into initial velocity and final momentum is mass into final velocity and finally we get f is equal to mass per unit time in bracket initial velocity minus final velocity with the help of this impulse momentum principle we are trying to find out the force exerted by jet on different conditions of plate thanks for listening carefully